McGregor is out, but Dana White pulled a rabbit out of the hat. We are going to talk about it. Let's go. The biggest changes in the UFC 303, of course, is the Conor McGregor fight and Jamal Hill. Both men are out with injuries. Conor's was a little bit undisclosed, but Jamal Hill, of course, is suffering from the ACL tear. So both of those men are out and two really amazing fighters are in. Conor and Michael Chandler was such a disappointment for everybody. And nobody thought that Dana could put together an amazing fight for 303. Everybody felt dejected and, and, and sad about the whole thing. And it just kind of took the air out of the balloon. However, I think Alex Pereira and Yuri Brozovskis is going to be an amazing fight. I just amazing. Only nine months after they fought last time. I got to tell you, the last fight was a little controversial. A little bit controversial. I thought it was called a little early. I mean, Alex Pereira, they were going at it the whole time. Now, uh, Yuri did go down, and he was grabbing him around the legs, and Alex was absolutely pounding the hell out of his head. But I do think it was controversial. I think that Yuri was still um, awake. He was ready to go, and they called it. So, you know, we'll never know. But you know what? Now we have a chance to see them fight in 303. And maybe, just maybe, Yuri might be able to redeem himself. Both are absolutely amazing fighters. Yuri's a little untraditional in, in fighting style. Alex is an absolute killer striker. But I think if Yuri can get in quick and take him out, he may have a chance. We'll see. Co-main event is going to be a very exciting one, too. It's really interesting because Brian Ortega is ranked, uh, I think, what, third in um, the UFC right now? And Diego is ranked 14th. So you would think that this one's going to be a no-brainer, literally a no-brainer that Brian Ortega is going to take him out. But do not underestimate Diego. I've watched him fight, and he is a pit bull. He goes after it. Now, both of these men are are amazing on the ground and they're really good strikers. Very fast, very uh, effective. So it's going to be an absolute battle to watch and I'm really excited about watching this. I'm going to give the slight edge to Diego. I know he's ranked 14th. However, he's lost or he's won his last three fights in the first round um, by TKO. So uh, I think that he's a great opponent for Brian. It's going to be a very, very good fight. So the third fight I was going to talk about was Anthony Smith and Carl Yulberg. However, breaking news, Carl is out for an undisclosed reason. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. So he was replaced by Roman Dolz. I'm going to probably kill this name. Uh, Dolzes. Dolzes. <laughs> Roman Dolzes. Sorry, Roman. I don't know how to pronounce your last name. However, Roman is actually coming up from middleweight to fight Anthony Smith in light heavyweight. So it should be really interesting. Maybe he was having a hard time uh, taking the weight off anyway. So this is a great match. So just yesterday it was announced that Anthony is going to fight Roman. Now I have not had a chance to see Roman in the octagon. So I don't know what kind of fighter he is. But I do know that Anthony Smith is just an incredible fighter. So it should be a very interesting match. So, one more point about Anthony Smith. He's getting up there in age, not that you're old at all at 35, however, in UFC years, he's getting older and he's fought a lot of fights. And I think he's near retirement age. So, I think with a big win, he may lay his gloves down in the octagon this time. We'll see. I'm just speculating. I don't know for sure. I hate to see Anthony go. I love watching him fight. But it would not surprise me, but he would go out a winner. So that would be an awesome thing to see. Now, I want to hear your comments. Make sure you subscribe below and hit the like button and the notification button so you'll know when I launch another video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. MMA Hot Lips, out.